Hi y'all, Liz here. And this week we are talking about the ABCs of cleaning again. And today I want to talk about using the proper tools and equipment. All right, so what is proper? Ugh, that's hard because we all use different tools and equipment, right? Your company might use a flat mop for mopping floors where somebody else's company, I know my friend Maria at Welcome Home Cleaning, their company uses a fancy mop that is more like a string mop. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, how can that clean? But you know what? That little booger, it does a really, really good job. So it sort of depends on who you are uh, and what, what your company uses as to what is proper. But there's one thing that we all have in common. Proper tools and equipment have two things in common, no matter what company you work for. One is, it gets the job done well. If it doesn't get the job done, you're not using the proper tool or equipment. If you're trying to use a fingernail brush on something that you should be using a grout brush on, that's not the right piece of equipment. You should be using whichever piece of equipment gets the job done the most effective in the most effective manner. That's first thing. And the second thing is, it needs to be the thing, um, I guess thing is probably not a good word to use here, um, but proper tools and equipment. The second thing is, it's gotta be safe. It's gotta be safe on your body. So, and safe to the, the surface that you're cleaning. So if you're trying to use a razor blade on a soft plastic, even if it works really well and it gets that sticker up, chances are good you're going to leave some little scratches or, or gouges. So not the proper piece of equipment, right? Not the proper tool to be using for that job. In that case, you might need to use steam. You might need to use a, a degreaser or an orange solvent. You might need to use something different than a razor blade. It's gonna depend on the surface, right? So proper tools and equipment depend on Two things that we talked about, I'm not gonna repeat them again because I'm notorious for repeating. So you guys, hopefully you were paying attention. That's why I repeat, I'm always afraid you'll miss it. So those two things, but additionally that they are in good working order, All right? So even a razor blade being used on the right thing, like for instance, you need to use a razor blade on a window or a piece of glass to get a sticker off, correct tool, right? T correct, correct thing to be using. Correct way is make sure that you have enough moisture, etc. But what if it's not uh, in good working condition? What if it is, I don't know if this happens in y'all's office, but it happens in ours all the time, where they'll get rusty. What if you have a rusty blade? Is it now the per correct or proper tool? No. Even if it is the proper tool because it's a razor blade, if it's rusty, it's no longer the proper tool because it's gonna cause damage to the surface, right? Okay, so that's what I want you guys to be thinking about when you're talking about, thinking about proper tools and equipment. Does it get the job done correctly? Is it causing any kind of damage? Is it in good working order? Is it what you are supposed to be using and getting the job done most effectively and efficiently? And then if it's not, what do you do about it? To keep using it because it will last what they gave us but if you've got a vacuum that doesn't work it doesn't suck anymore who knows why you don't know why it's not your job to know why that's not how they have you set up some of you might have it that you're set up that way but if you don't how do you know if it's a a good good piece of equipment or it's supposed to be working or not what are you supposed to do they gave you this vacuum eh no if it's not working you need to get that addressed so who is your upline? Who is the person that you're supposed to go talk to? If you don't know that, every single one of you guys out there right now, if you guys don't know who that person is, when we get off this video, it's the first thing I want you to do. It's the question I'm gonna ask right now. Okay, you know we always have a question at the end of these videos. Who am I supposed to talk to when something's not working well? Get the answer to that question, and I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. Bye.